Hi all, Ziv from Elementor here. In this video, you'll learn how to liven up your designs with cool colorful shapes, just like you see here. They are made with Elementor using a cool design trick. So let's dive in and see how it's done. We will be working on this pre-designed page over here. Let's add some colorful shapes to bring it to life. We will start with the circles. Instead of using image files, we can use a nifty design trick to create easily adjustable shapes. So, how do we create circles in Elementor? First off, drag a spacer widget into the column over here. Then, under Advanced, Background, set the background color you want the circle to be. Next, we will set its height and width. Under Content, change its height. Now, under Advanced, Custom Positioning, set the width to Custom and make sure to set the custom width to the same as the height, so you end up with a square. Now, before turning it into a circle, let's set its position to absolute, and place it over here. In order to turn it into a circle, go to border, and change the border radius unit to percentage, and set it to 50. Cool! Now, even if you change its size, it will always remain a circle. Got it? Nice! Let's create another, yet slightly smaller circle and this time only with a border. So duplicate the circle and move it over here. Now in advanced, give it a solid border and some width. Then change its color. As you can see, the circle seems a bit squished. Don't worry, we'll fix it soon. First, let's clear the background color so it will be easier on our eyes. Okay, great. Now let's turn it into a circle again. In order to do so, remember this. When creating circles with the border, using this spacer concept, always add twice the amount of the border width in pixels to the custom width. In our case, the border width is set to 3 pixels, so under custom positioning, we should add 6 pixels to the width. Cool! Our circle is back. Now, let's make the circle a bit smaller. Under content, set the spacer to 50 pixels, and based on what we just learned, set the custom width to 56 pixels. As you can see, creating circles is a breeze. Now, let's add some custom rectangles to liven up our title a bit. Drag a spacer widget under the heading, and in advanced, under background, give it a color. Back in content, set the space to 220 pixels to match the height of the heading widget. Now, back in advanced, I know, a lot of back and forths. It's worth it. Under custom positioning, set the width to custom, and set it to 30 pixels. Now, let's fix its position a bit. Change it to absolute and set the orientations to left and bottom. In order to responsively align the rectangles with the heading widget, with tablet and mobile in mind, we'll change the offset units to percentage. Now, place it next to the heading like so. Cool! Now, just duplicate and move it a bit to the right. Good job! Our hero section is done. Let's move on to the next section. I'll add some circles here as well. So go ahead, right click the circle and hit copy. Now in the second section, paste it in the column over here and move it to where you like. Then change its height and in advanced under custom width, set its width accordingly. Now let's create another circle only with a border. So hit duplicate, move it a bit and then change its height and width like before. Add a border and change its color. And then remove the background color. Now let's add a square on the side over here by duplicating this circle. Then in custom positioning set its orientations to right and bottom. Change the color and turn it into a square by removing the border radius we just set before. Cool! Let's add a larger square next to it. Duplicate the blue square and change its height and width. Remove the background color, then give it a border. Give it a nice color and move it over here. And that's all. Hit update and check it out. Cool! Well, that's it. Now you know how to create cool, easily adjustable and colorful shapes using the Spacer widget to really liven up your designs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. See you later!